Yeah. He's got like a puppy German shepherd. Yeah. How you doing? Hi. 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 My name's Beth. Beth. And she was carrying a cat. I can't stand cats. Yeah, he's got claws, but I was one of the last people to show up. They were all having a good time at the pool table, and a couple people didn't seem very happy about the cat. I have this dog named George. I leave him with my brother. He means a lot to me. Me and Kitty just don't see eye to eye. Hey, hang out on a different floor. <laughs> so what do you do? Um, I do production work. Oh, really? I do a lot of PA work. I like have a different job every day. Casting. I love the entertainment industry. I want to direct and I want to produce. I'm interested in acting too. I like experimenting with everything. All my friends say that I'm a drama queen. Tuesday night, she was more or less dying on the floor from headaches. We thought the brain tumor was going to explode. Beth, CPO, what do we need to do? You know, call an ambulance, you know, all this. Stuff. Just don't decompose on us. I just gotta go to bed. Is is Beth in bed? I think so, yeah. I, I believe she's in bed. Can I take a message? Is it for me? Yeah. I got it. I got it. It's for me. You know what? She's gonna be Academy Award winner. <laughs> she's better than. Uh, I would just like to thank my roommates. <laughs> totally, they totally supported me. The kitty. <laughs> And it was the best $20 I think we've spent since we've been in this place. We came home and we just started going at it, going at it. Rico. Suave. Rico. As I was putting those pictures up, I just knew that Aaron was going to flip because he was going to feel like such a Joey. That's a pretty boy for you. I thought that the picture of Aaron was absolutely hilarious because that picture stands for everything that Aaron claims that he's against. Yeah, we need that. We need to look stay up on the roof until we see his car. Everybody was like on the lookout. John was like the watchtower up at the top of the house. We were just waiting for him to come home. Aaron comes out. Aaron, hi, how you doing? Guys, Aaron's home. And he, he like got halfway up the stairs until he realized, oh my God, I just stepped on my face. You guys suck so suave. Welcome home, Nino! Oh my, that is such a bird. But I got him, I burned him, I burned him bad. I loved every millisecond. Dude, this is such a huge, huge burn on me. It's unbelievable. Aaron more or less a brick. But if he hadn't have said those fatal words, oh, I would never do that, then it wouldn't have been a problem. What am I gonna do? Oh, you guys, by the way. No, I was teasing you by about By the way, it. I did this really stupid thing my junior year in Aaron, college. Aaron, didn't I say, Aaron, yeah, you're one of, you're, you'll probably end up posing in those calendars now. You said, no, I'd never oh, do that. I showed you. You know what, that's fine. That's right, I did sell myself to the devil, but it was for a good cause. No, not to the devil, just all the little teeny poppers in the hole. <laughs> I really didn't expect him to get as angry. I thought he'd get just a little bit mad and then laugh it off, but he really got angry about it. He didn't like it at all. You guys just raped me. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to get some on you. Not on me. No. Oh, not yeah. Me. Honestly, dude, I did not want to do it. I only did it because it was a friend. You just said something to us. Like, I did do one. Why, why would I tell you that, though? Well, because... Number one, you said you were totally against doing this kind of stuff. I never said that. By him standing here telling Beth, you know, you're a liar, I never said that. If there was a liar in the situation, it was Aaron, because he did say it because I was there. Do you realize what this can do to my life? This was my turn to just get him back, just to let him know how it feels. I think you as an actress, if you're excellent at your craft and true to your work, they, if you're good, they'll take you no matter what you look like. Well, it's who you know. And it's, it's how you look. You it's know. definitely who you know. No, but it is. It's it's based on how you look first. I hope that Beth uh, uh, finds something that she likes to do and, and is successful at it. Because she's trying really hard to be an actress. And I'm not sure that uh, 
you know, I, I don't think she's very confident in it right now because I don't know, you know, how good a look she's having. Everybody in Los Angeles is an actor. Everybody's something else than what they're doing. Casting. Just like I like production work and I like to act too. Craig from SAG for Joe. I had to get these pictures taken because you need a headshot so they can submit you for parts to casting directors. So until I have a good headshot, I'm really not going to get sent out for anything. I mean, especially like living in Los Angeles, there's so much pressure to like look flawless and perfect, especially in the entertainment industry. Media artist group, hold on, please. Hello. Hey, hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> how you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, I had another client that's at That's lunch okay. There, so come on in. Great. Okay. So what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, we we have here. Too. Finally, yeah. Uh -huh. Here's her these shot. Are crazy. Here's, these are her shots. Oh my god. Let's see here. Let's No, these seem no, not gonna no, work for a week. That one's not gonna work. No. Yeah, like, not at all. No, no, we're not gonna push you in that market. Do you like to swing here, Gloria? I like to see us. No. The hair is the hair is it's weird. Like, also, she's not really comfortable with the camera. I mean, it's cutesy and all that, but uh-uh, it doesn't. But I think what's keeping you from really being acceptance in is the pictures. And so yeah. we have to like, sort of like play with it. She wanted me to get a reshoot. So now I've got to go hunting for another photographer and uh, try and come up with some more money to take some headshots because if you don't have a headshot, you don't have anything. Tony is my ex-boyfriend from college. He lives in New York now. He's coming in tonight, eight o'clock from Newark, and I have no idea what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty nervous about it. So I'm dying to see what he's gonna look like. Hey, how you doing? You look very New York. Very I know. Let's go. But I'm a creep. He's just different. He purposely came with that facial hair just to piss me off, is what he did. What the hell am I to hear? I don't belong here. I was never really looking for anything in a romantic yeah. sense but he did have some expectations. I felt bad. I had to get these pictures taken, but he got really mad. He got really mad, and there was nothing I could do about it. I told him that I had to get my headshots done. It was just, it was really awkward the whole entire time. I'm not in the position to say whether he changed for better or for worse. If he's happy with the way he is, that's great. I mean, he used to be like really conservative. Now he's got a tattoo. And that shouldn't change my feelings about anything, but he's just different. Someone <laughs> had oral sex in the closet. I didn't do anything in the closet! Yes! That was a joke. Oh. I told you. I told it you the next day that it was a joke. I was joking around just to make John feel uneasy. And then the next day, I told him I was only kidding. She had one of her uh, boyfriends out from Ohio. And she was like, you know, I didn't want anybody to see, you know, me kissing him or anything. So we got in the closet. I innocently kissed somebody. And it just so happened to be in the closet. And that is all that happened. She said she had oral sex with this guy in the closet. John! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's <laughs> a tad bit of bragging on what happened in the class. A kiss is a kiss, and a sigh is just a sigh. I don't know. She told us she did it, and now she's trying to deny it and say she didn't do it. She did it. The phone rings by 
mom. I'm coming tomorrow. Oh, really? I'm like, oh, Your mom's coming tomorrow? Yes. Always voice of Clayton. My mom is uh, a local celebrity. My mother is the Polish voice of Cleveland. This is Eugenia Stolarczyk, golden voice of the Polish radio program of a station WERE in Cleveland, Ohio. No? <laughs> if we buy two, then it will be... How about, yes. how about 11 for both? So you have more expensive taste. It was just nice, just spending time together. Because when she's at home, she's like all stressed out and she's running here and then she's running to this meeting and running to that banquet and I mean, she's nonstop. Best mom, <laughs> I've been here five minutes and she looks down at the carpet and says, I feel sick, I need to sit down. <laughs> and then she starts vacuuming. I, I, I don't know whose dishes are over there in the sink. They're everybody's. Everybody's? Yeah. So what, maid will come and, and wash them, or what is the situation? Uh, <laughs> well, they just kind of sit there for a couple weeks, actually. Yeah. For a couple weeks? You have enough dishes that they can lay for a couple weeks? Yeah. They... <laughs> That's the new generation. <laughs> Unfortunately. She cooked for half the day, and, and you know, she did the mom things that I hardly ever get and that, that I really appreciated. Chicken is great. So I hear you are the Polish voice of Cleveland. Is that true? Which radio station? WERE and WCP and Cleveland Public Radio. Oh, is it, is it illegal all. to like say Polish jokes where you live? <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder. Then I will not cook for you. <laughs> you, you. You want dessert? <laughs> you go! Oh, I'd like to make a toast. That was a great meal by Mrs. Stolarczyk. Yes. I thought Glenn and I were getting along okay. I've tried with Beth and I'm beginning to hate her. Her freaky friend brought a dog over. That crap dog over the place. Who brings dogs over? <laughs> What the hell? Why do you bring your dog? I really don't think it concerns you, Glenn. It does concern me. I'm walking around and <laughs> <laughs> No, you didn't. I <laughs> You did not. I'll show it to you. I threw a carpet over it. Yeah, well, no, then it's... show it to me. I'll clean it up. Calm you down. Carpet I'm glad you guys don't have any problems. Christ. Can't we all <laughs> just get That's along? Glenn has no life and he has nothing better to do than... You are that. Dog. That's Did what? you do that on I have a great life. life. What? Bitch. Glenn, shut up. No. Okay. No. I know it was the other guy's dog that over the floor. I don't know who I know it was his dog. Nobody asked I know, I saw it. Well, I said I would clean it up. Show me where it is, Glenn. Grow up. Well, that's cool. It's good. She should get used to it. Man, I was so mad. I was so mad. A lot of people were complaining about Beth in the house, and they were getting frustrated with her. I never did anything to Glenn. I never did anything to anybody. It just amazes me how, you know, I'm pissed. Let's take it out on Beth. Huh. You know, I love my mother very much. I know that she loves me, and it was nice for her to see what I was doing because she really didn't understand what I was doing. It was nice to, to spend some time with her. I don't know if anything is gonna change. It probably won't. I'm really secure in myself, and I know I don't have to please anybody, and I know that I have to make myself happy, but for some reason I just keep thinking that I just want my mother to be proud of me. Her mom has been a very important person in Beth's life. I found out a lot about Beth up through her mom. No, I don't think we really know each other that well. My mother does the best that she knows how to, and that's okay with me. We were eating dinner. Beth and, and her mom and I went out to dinner one night, and we were sitting there talking. Do you miss Beth because she's out here so far away? No. <laughs> I'm too busy to miss anybody. We really, I mean, when I'm home, we really don't do anything. 
but it's not like uh, you desperately want to, want to do anything with me. How do you know that? No, because you like to go with your friends. Well, I like to go out with my friends, but I mean, it would be nice if, you know, once in a while we could do stuff together. Like what? I don't know. Just well, spending we, time we, together. We don't enjoy the same things. Like going to the, see the same movie, you will pick different and I will pick different. Mom. That's true. Did I bring up a sticky conversation? <laughs> no, I'm just stating the point that we don't do anything together. No, we don't. But, At all. But this is not my choice. Mom. I ask you all the time when I'm alone, do you want to do something? No, 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 I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to run here, I have to run there, I have to do this. That's true. Which is fine, and you're busy, but yeah. I just, I don't know. I would like to spend some time with her, and it just seems that every time that I attempt to, she kind of blows it off. She really cares a lot about working and, and doing things, I mean, I mean, even on Christmas, you know, she's got to do her her radio shows on Christmas. I mean, so it's like it's never it's never ending. She will always put put work first. I am very busy because Elizabeth, someone has to make money so I know. to pay for all you for are you high class living. <laughs> and you know, you don't have father, so everything falls on mother. I know. It's sometimes not your, what you want to do, but what you have to do. It's kind of a little bit sad that, you know, Beth's in her 20s now and doesn't really know her mom that well. We didn't really have the uh, typical mother-daughter relationship. We really didn't have the, the, the whole nurturing thing going on. You know, I love my mother very much. It's just hard to communicate because no, but I don't think anybody really taught my mother how to express her feelings. And uh, so that's, that's what the problem is. Maybe I don't know how to express my feelings. I think I do though. So which way is Kentucky? <laughs> which way is Ohio? Uh. Well, I think as a result of this experience living in LA, I hopefully am a lot more open-minded to other ideas, ideas that are completely the opposite of mine. This is it. Dope from the fly, kid. The ice mic is back with the high hits. I think out of all of us, John changed the most. He was just exposed to a new city, different people, Beth Anthony being a lesbian, all of it. Probably the people that I will keep in contact with and people that I will consider my friends, more than anybody, Beth S. I really will miss everybody, but I'll miss, I think I'll miss John the most.